What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode of What The Truck. Today we're here with Rafa and his awesome 1978 F-150 Ranger XLT. Rafa, what the truck? Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thanks guys, uh, my name is Rafael Garrido and this is my beautiful uh, 1978 and a half made in Mexico F100 called La Barbie. I love it. It's beautiful. Thank you. What what makes this truck different from the American ones? Well, the uh, the Mexican truck is uh, basically shorter than the American short bed. It's around uh, three and a half inches shorter than than the short bed. It share she shares uh, the chassis with the American 67 through 72. Uh, short bed really so basic basically it comes straight the chassis comes straight uh, from front end all the way to the back like the like the 60s and and up and um, 1972 and uh, it's the same size uh, bed as the 72 um, also the tail lights and the tailgate is uh, Different, different looking, different uh, tail lights. Oh yeah, that looks more and like a bump trim. That, yeah, it's like a bump side. The trim, yes, and huh. it, she shares the, the bump side um, tail and uh, same thing with the brackets for the uh, bumper. The bumper is also from a 72 American. So basically the size and the whole uh, tailgate, tail lights and the trim. That's, that's, the, that's the difference also. Um, she doesn't come with a little lip right here, like the American oh, one. Oh yeah, we're coming, it's flat. Yeah, it's flat. All of them, all the Mexican trucks are coming like that. And <coughs> the, the gas tank is also um, open like this. It doesn't come with the, with the little the door. Uh, door. Um, and she came out of um, Jalisco Motors from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. That's so cool. So those are the original uh, plates from her. And um, basically that's, that's, that's the difference between the how American. Did, how did you end up with this truck? I found this truck in, uh, on uh, Craigslist for sale right close by my house and I, I just thought I wanted I had many trucks many trucks like these before but not a Mexican truck I'm Mexican and, and find a Mexican truck here is so rare and it's hard right now it's easier to bring trucks from our country to here but it was nine ten years ago it was hard to find something like this so I was like Got to have it. So, so that's how long ago what, that you started working on this? Yeah, like nine, probably ten years already. So, what all have you done to it? Uh, basically, I took it apart, um, <clears throat> all the way to the frame. Um, she got um, crumbly uh, suspension, um, then I have a '96 iPhone 50 aluminum transmission five speed i have an o3 uh rear differential the 373 positive um and and i have a, a 351 windsor with flat uh flat head pistons with uh 276 um can we see it yeah sure Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. You said 276. Um, okay. And uh, long tube headers. Oh, wow. AC. Dude, this is an engine bay over here. Yes. Wow. Your chrome plater must love you. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it when I have to clean it. <laughs> I bet. Dude, that is really, really trick. Yes. So what all do we have under here? It's a 351 Windsor with a little bit of tricks inside just to make her look a little uh, tough and make her a little faster than an old Ford pickup. That looks great. I don't, 
I'm like a kid in a candy store. You see shiny, it's uh -huh. like, oh yeah. Uh -huh. That's so cool. Somebody is going to spend, uh, this is going to make you spend your uh, weekend cleaning. I bet. <laughs> yeah, a lot of polishing. Yes. So what, what all did you do? Uh, I guess let's move into the interior. What kind of stuff did you do in there? The interior is basically all new. And uh, we've got the, the, the door panels and the seat looking like the American um, Lariat. The rest, it was original like she came like but also we add in a little bit of chrome like uh, the steering cone she's um fussy nice and um the, the sun vi the not yes. sun visor the uh yeah. moonlight it's gorgeous yes that's great and uh i'm one thing obviously everybody's going to talk about is the wheels. Tell me a little about these wheels. They're the wheels are Pro Wheels. That's the brand. And they're uh, 24 by 15 wide. Um, the tires are 405, 25, 24. Wow. For railings. And Those are some big boys. Yeah. <laughs> that's what makes her a little more unusual. Like, wow something different like uh, like someone was telling me here there's no one in the whole show with those white tires i'm like well i want to be a little different it looks cool i think it looks really really cool again that's probably a lot of fun to polish huh yes i spent one day just to polish the, the wheels wow and then your bed you had the tub it it looks really nice i yes. like everything that you did to it I'm we're still at working on the bed but basically this she's going that way More awesome wrong. and where can people check you out what's your like instagram or facebook yeah, my instagram is rafael numero uno and um, i'm part of a club dynasty four truck club inland empire which is a new club we came out of another club I was the president, I'm still the president from our club. We started in our new era, new new club, new rules, our own staff. Nice, and but, you have an Instagram for that as well? Yes, it's called Dynasty for Truck Club Inland Empire. And also on Facebook, my personal Facebook is uh, Rafael Garrido. Oh. Awesome. I'm gonna get the drone. We're gonna fly around, get some cool footage of this, and we'll show it to you guys. See you in a second. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did, I learned a lot. I had no idea there were so many differences with the Mexican dent sides to the American dent sides. Rafael is a freaking gangster. Got to show the whole thing to us, told me everything about it. If you guys liked the video, consider giving us a thumbs up. If you enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, comments, drop them down below. Also, if you guys like any merch, I got hats, got all types of good t-shirts, stickers, all types of goodies on the website. That's FordArea.com. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great one.